so I'm going to be replacing the fuel filter. Now, I have noticed, and many of you that have done it before, that there's a load of letters on the top. I'm going to run through what these letters say, because someone's clearly put that on wrong. So you may have already noticed that there's letters on these fuel filter, which corresponds to where it comes from. So I'm going to run through these, and it's always good to mark them up. Yeah, I've made it a little bit clearer than I normally would. Because I've realised that these letters are actually on the wrong way around. So somebody's put a fuel filter in wrong. And to be fair, it's been running. But the fuel supply in and the fuel supply to the tandem pump is the wrong way around. So possibly that fuel filter's going to be collapsing on itself. Because it's, it's flowing the wrong direction. So let's run through these. VF should be the supply from the tank. RT is the return to the tank, which is normally via the fuel cooler. VM is the feed to the tandem pump. And RF is the return from the fuel rail. That's the one that's got the little temperature sender in. The temperature sender measures the fuel temperature coming out of the head, because that's gonna be more accurate of what's being injected via the injectors. So to remove these, dead easy. Let's move that out of the way. Push that in. And just lift it up. And same with all these, because I've got them marked up, we're not, we're not having too much of an issue. And did you see, that was loose a little bit. And you can see this is loose. And somebody's jammed a little bit of a pipe in there. So that is one of my pet hates. People putting the fuel filter on wrong. I've actually had this before where a VAG specialist has put the, the fuel filter on the wrong way around. And it's basically gave unfiltered fuel direct to a common rail injection system, which has then in turn dest destroyed it completely. So let's see if we can get it the right way around. And this bracket doesn't look right, considering the fuel filters are uh, fet set size. Let's see if we can fix that. This looks like the way that it should sit. Let's see whether anything tallies up. That looks better. Okay. How can people get things so wrong? Always go for a genuine filter if possible which is normally made by man as well. See so if there's any markings on it. No. It has got a little dimple, so it'll only go one way round, in theory. tighter than that way around so RT and VM VM RT so let's just turn that round does that lock into place anywhere there RT, there's VF. Oh, 
always best to put some fresh fuel in there just to build up this because it takes a long time to prime so if you're ever going to put some fuel in put it into the supply which is VF or in failing that another option which is just as good click it on leave the return from the from the actual engine loose and what we're going to do we're going to cycle the ignition a few times just keep an eye on that and it should fill up nicely you'll be able to check the fuel pumps working inside the tank So it's not exactly the cleanest way. So we've got to make sure we clean all that up. Plenty of brake cleaner again, just all over the place. Because that's actually flammable and it smells. So we'll give that a good clean. But first of all, let's get us started. Put that back on. Put in your 10 mil, which is now in a fresh place. And diesel is brilliant lubricant as well. Look at that. Let's cycle that a couple of times. You can, you can hear the, the bubbles come through the system. Let's do two more just for luck. No, right, let's see if we can crank it up and see if she starts. I reckon it's gonna crank it up. Let's wait for the fuel to get around the system because it's still got the fuel rail and the tandem pump with some fuel in it. Let's just wait a minute because it has got. Right, it's going to go now. Can you feel that? Oh, that's just getting rid of the air as it's trying to draw in the air from the fuel. Filter. And it's got, yeah, okay, that's nice and smooth. Give a little feel. That's a good start, that really, isn't it? I'm going to clean all that up, take my labels off. And I think what I'll do, because it's been on the wrong way around, I'm going to cut open the filter and just see what's happening inside. So, just out of interest, I've decided to cut the, the end off the bottom just to see what happens. So that's a bit of a rubber so now it's the end of there. So that's so I've now cut a little slit down the side. So again, oh there we go. It's always good. So that does separate that way around. Okay, so there's just your iron canister with all the aluminium swarf. So I'm able to sort of look at the, the nitty-gritty. That doesn't look that old to be honest. There's not that much oil in there. But remember from this canister it's been going the wrong way around. See if we can get this apart. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, if it was a replaceable canister, it would. It's as good as being that, but without the bolts in the middle. So, have a look at all that. That looks, to be honest, it looks all right. So the only difference is it's been dumping fuel back into the middle section rather than. Dump. It should be filtered from the outside inwards because there's a greater surface area on that. So let's have a look if see if there's anything noticeable in there. Now there's a little bit of a temperature valve in there, it looks like it. Let's see what it is. Right. So that's what you're expecting. Because a PD naturally mixes the fuel with the engine oil, particularly when the seals are gone. Now if you watch me rebuild the engine, I've actually put the used new injector seals in there. Oh. That's what the inside of it's looking like. You can actually see the bits of engine oil in there. So that's a natural byproduct on a PD engine. That's, that's to be expected, but that's been filtered out the wrong way. It wouldn't have been able to circulate. It wouldn't be able to go back to the fuel tank in the same way. So that would have been not that long from breaking down potentially with fuel issues, possibly starvation of fuel to the injectors, which isn't very good for those. So I might call that in good time. Don't know how long it's been like that. Well, hey-ho, that's fair enough. 
that's what the inside of a filter looks like. So if you found that useful, give it a thumbs up. Remember to share, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Ta-da!